Let's fire those sirens up, guys. Hello guys, thank y'all for tuning in to Harlan County, Kentucky Transparency. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Now I want to tell you about something going on here in Harlan County that could be a potential murder case. I'm not sure. I'm not saying that it is. But I think it's kind of weird what they're doing. And it kind of makes me believe that we could have a murderer loose. In Harlan County. Now, this come a few days ago, and it's coming from the Harlan County Coroner's Office, and it states, as you can see, it's where I'm getting the information from there, at 1216 on May 6, 2024, the Harlan County Coroner's Office was notified of a body being located in a home of the Cold Iron community. Deputy Coroner Josh John Jones responded and pronounced a 55-year-old male deceased at 12.41 p.m. The body is being sent to Frankfurt at the state, Kentucky State Medical Examiner's Office to determine the exact cause and manner of death. The name of the deceased is being withheld at the moment as a request of the family so that they can make sure all family members are notified. The investigation is conducted by detectives with KSP and the coroner's office. Reading that, you'd think somebody might have overdosed or had a heart attack or something like that, you know? You really wouldn't think nothing. Now... That was shared by our local radio station, 105.1. And then a radio station out of Pineville released this from the big one, 106.3. From the Harlan County Coroner's Office, 5824 News Release. The Harlan County Coroner's Office can confirm that on May 6, 2024, that 55-year-old Nicholas Stevens of Cold Iron was pronounced dead by Harlan County Deputy Coroner John Jones at 12.41 p.m. in his residence in the Cold Iron community. Mr. Stevens was sent to Frankfurt for an autopsy by the state medical examiner to determine the cause and manner of death. This case has been determined and his next of kin and investigators have been notified of these findings. This is an ongoing investigation by the coroner's office and the Kentucky State Police. Any further news release on this case will be by KSP. Well, thing about that is KSP, they don't really release a lot of news. They do have a public affairs officer, uh, I think it's Officer Jacobs, uh, but they don't really release a lot of information. Now, if they make an arrest or something like that in the case, they will, you know, announce that. But if it if there's no foul play involved. We'll never hear nothing else of it again. I mean, I won't be able to find anything out about this. So, if it was a murder, I hope they get it solved. 
and I hope they get it solved quickly. And if it wasn't, I hope the family, you know, gets closure and all that. But they need to, I tell you, the way I read that, an ongoing investigation by the KSP in the coroner's office tells me that they might have suspended might be some foul play involved i don't know but i will keep you updated on what's going on with the news here in harlan county i don't really have a whole lot more than that but as far as big news also guys i don't want to forget this harlan county's own trent noah who was the leading scorer has the red state record for the most points for basketball. Has left South Carolina Gamecocks and is heading to the University of Kentucky. He actually signed with UK and made it official. Y'all can see right there. He signed with UK. So... I ain't big on basketball at all. I don't hardly watch it. I'm a baseball man. But I do like to give our kids coverage. I do like to promote our kids that play sports because there's not a lot of people that promote them around here. Even though I'm really nobody. I mean, I'm not no big promoter, nothing like that. I do like to give our kids credit. And when they do good like that, I mean, and they play good and they end up going somewhere, I'll give them a big shout out, man. I mean, who knows? They might be some basketball scout actually watch this stuff. But Trent Noah signed with Kentucky. Congratulations, Trent. Glad you're home. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you soon on the next one. Take care.